Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So as you see by the title, just a couple days ago I managed to secure our new-to-be 2022 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro and Electric Line Metallic. Um, and I gotta admit, it was much more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Historically speaking, Tacoma TRD Pros are, have been the easiest to find and source. Out of all the TRD Pros, I should say. So TRD Pros are pretty difficult to get at MSRP, and that has always been the case. Even before the pandemic, uh, they've always kind of been difficult to find at MSRP. But this one, I thought, was going to be much simpler than what it ended up being. I made, I made countless phone calls to try to find one within my area. You know, granted, I found a few pretty quickly outside of my area. I mean, when I'm talking outside my area, I'm talking like three or four states away. Okay, so pretty far. Um, but I managed to find one here in, uh, in Maryland, thankfully. So after... A number of phone calls back forth back forth emails I managed to get one so the bummer is it's not set to arrive until May 3rd to May 7th that's like the, the timeline so we got another week week ish to wait um, which I tell you what this is such a first world problem but you know being down to one vehicle is, is already presenting a ton of challenges uh, you know me and my wife and I we obviously normally each have our own vehicle at least that I can drive to work and be fine and and she'll be at home she can take the kids to and from whatever but now we're down to one and even though it's just for a very short duration uh, it's already proven to be a challenge so again first real problem to have but uh, at the same time I'm talking on both sides of my mouth a little bit but it's kind of it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice just having one one vehicle. I mean, it's, it's like a strange peace of mind with all other vehicles out of the picture. You know, we're in a good, we're definitely in a good spot to, uh, to move out to northern Colorado at this point um, when it comes to actually trying to find a house and, and being in a comfortable position. So I love that. You know, the goal has been achieved when it comes to that. Uh, is it going to be kind of a, a little bit of a bummer letdown coming from a Raptor, a Gen 3 Raptor 37 package down to a wee little Tacoma TRD Pro, perhaps. Yeah, but I mean, you guys know, I've owned Tacoma TRD Pros in the past, and I've always loved them. You know, I've always had a soft spot for them, and, and that continues to be the case. So I'm excited to have the, the newest one with the, you know, the upgraded suspension. I think that's cool. I mean, slightly upgraded suspension with the inch and a half higher up front. The forged upper control arms, uh, a half inch higher in the rear, the newer wheels, the bed stamp, uh, or the stamp in the, in the bed there. So I'm excited for it. I'm excited to have that electric electric lime metallic too because that has always been my preferred green between that and the lime rush so I think that'll be pretty neat to have and I think it'll look nice right next to the to the Land Cruiser here so that will at least at very least be the the lineup in the in the stable the very small stable now uh, between now and October at very least so I'm excited for that excited to have a, a truck too I mean being able to utilize that bed although small it is still very nice to have uh, a bed because as we've done before we've had a forerunner and a land cruiser and that's it we've had that before and, and, it, and it's tough i mean it presents its own unique challenges it is always nice to have a bed uh, a couple of you made a good point that you can always buy a trailer a flatbed trailer that you can haul stuff with and on that's a good point so i could have always considered uh doing that but again it is always nice to the utility of a truck bed is is, is great so the final thing I want to talk through, perhaps the most important thing in this video, is what I intend to do to it. So at this point, normally, whenever I line up a vehicle purchase, uh, you guys don't really know this. I kind of do it behind the scenes. I don't really talk about it in my videos. But whenever I secure a purchase of a vehicle, uh, the week or two prior that I'm waiting for it to actually take delivery of it, I, that's where I start doing my, my legwork leg work to buy a few upgrades right so right when I actually get the vehicle I can actually already have uh, my aftermarket goodies and upgrades and I can slap it on the truck immediately so I'm starting to do that now and, and I'm kind of already kind of thinking through the things I want to do to it so although not much the things I plan to do relatively quickly uh, without totally overdoing it is of course the tires you guys see me do that a number of times at this point as of right now I'm considering a couple options, of course, the BF Goodrich KO2s, which are my favorite, um, you know, especially with the white lettering out, this has always been my favorite, uh, perhaps almost a staple for the channel here at this point, but I also love Nitto Ridge Grapplers, so those are always my secondary pick, 
but I'm open to other ideas. So I wanted to present this video to you guys and see if you had other ideas and, and why you recommended it. And I'm open to it. So let me know what your thoughts are. So of course the tires, step one. Step two would be uh, some, uh, some sliders. So, you know, you got a number of options. Westcut Designs, of course, is always awesome. RSG sliders have been previously my go-to. So I may just go with them again. Uh, RSG sliders with the kick out, flat sliders this time. If you recall on my Cement Gray 2017 Toyota Tacoma 2 Pro, it had the angled sliders. And those ones were actually on the vehicle when I bought it, for the few of you that remember that, uh, which were great. They were awesome, they looked, they looked amazing. But, you know, having three kiddos, um, you know, I think having the flat sliders makes most sense because it doubles as a step a little bit better, as we all know. So I likely do RSG sliders with the kick out. Um, I'm debating on the roof rack. Um, you know, Westcott Designs, of course, they make a, a great rack for it. Um, but I, I don't know, I'm kind of back and forth on that. So let me know if you recommend a certain roof rack or not for the Tacoma. I personally really like the clean look without the roof rack on the Tacoma in particular, but I'm open-minded to it, like I said. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. Really, depending on how well, I guess I'm back and forth, and I haven't done too much homework, but you guys can let me know what you think. So I'm, I'm gonna try to do 285s. I'm gonna try to do 285s on a stock stock tire, a stock wheels that come on the Tacoma Tier 2 Pro. Um, I might even consider getting aftermarket wheels this time around. So let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you have any recommendations when it comes to that. Because um, I do want to have you know, 285s, 285, 70, 16s or 17s. You know, 16 inch are, are the, the stock wheel size for the Tacoma 2D Pro. So again, not too much right out of the gate. I'll likely tint the windows pretty quick too. 20% all around and 50% on the windshield. I really like that look. Uh, and the night driving isn't bad at all. Uh, it's actually much better than I thought it was going to be with the, the windshield tent being at 50. So those are my preliminary thoughts. I already made this video too long, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you recommend. And again, you know, thanks for thanks for taking the time before and, and voting for which of the three vehicles. Um, really, personally, I was polling for the 2015, if we're being honest. I already had that, that, that purchase lined up. It was out of Colorado. I was gonna fly out there, go pick it up. It was already, I was already like 75% into that deal for being honest with each other. Had the price, everything was set. So a part of me thought you guys were gonna take to that and I thought you were gonna really appreciate seeing a different vehicle on the channel. You guys know I've already had multiple uh, current generation Tacoma Tier Pros. So I figured you might wanna see that, that, that previous generation, 2015, as I think they look better. The exterior looks better, the interior is meh. Um, but you guys also made some pretty good points for that 22 to include, perhaps most importantly, you know, you guys know I got a family. The fact that it has all the additional safety features on the 22 Tacoma compared to that 2015 um, really is something critical to, to consider, of course. So you guys made some great points in addition to that, of course, but I won't dissect that here in this video. So again, let me know what your thoughts are and what I should consider getting for that 22 electric line Tacoma 2D Pro. Appreciate you watching as always. Till next time.